Hi, Aaron Fitz here with Beacon Credit Union. On today's episode of Social 365, we battled the winds at the Beacon Golf Tournament, supporting the boys and girls clubs of the Danville area. Check it out. Want to stay in the loop of what's going on in your community? Subscribe now. We teamed up with the players of the Beacon Golf Tournament and asked some of life's most important questions. Who was your first celebrity crush, and are you still crushing on them? She was a sportscaster in the 80s, oh. uh, and I thought she was so beautiful. I was a young kid, you know, probably 12, 13, 14. I thought one day I am going to marry her. Are you still in love with her? Uh, no. So maybe not as a kid, but as a teenager, I was in love with Salma Hayek, the okay. actress. Okay. And yeah, I still got a crush on <laughs> Lizzie McGuire, Hil Hilary Duff. That is so cute. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I watch that all the time. Yeah. Are you still crushing over him? Uh, probably, yeah. probably, yeah. yeah. Elvis Presley. Oh, good choice. And yes, ma'am, I do. So help me, uh, Joe House Rock, how does that start? <laughs> no, you didn't. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember. Only <laughs> baby left me. Dun, dun. I found a new place to dwell. <laughs> it's down on the end of Lonely Street. It's Heartbreak, Heartbreak Hotel. Hotel. No, I'm baby, I'm lonely, 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 baby. <laughs> if you could choose an animal to help you in a fight, what would the animal be? Oh, for sure a kangaroo. Oh, nice. Can definitely kangaroo. Have you seen kangaroos with their oh boxing? Gosh, oh, yes. Yeah. There's, it would be a grizzly bear. There's pretty good odds on a grizzly bear, yeah. I think. I would love to have a dog help me in a fight. Uh -huh. A raccoon. Oh. Yeah, I have one in my chimney right now. Oh. And um, we're trying to get it out. But the mom, a mom raccoon, yeah. is what I would is what I would do. Okay. Um, because they they are wild. If you could make one rule that everyone had to follow for one day, what would the rule be? You have to be nice to everybody. Yeah. No meanie stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Kindness. Okay. No yelling at each other. No, no lying. Ooh. Okay. No, you could not you could not tell a fib all yeah. day long. Yeah. No matter no matter what. That would be good. It would be interesting. You have to put on deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, to. Uh, I think I'm all right. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave your house until I can't talk to you until you until you put on deodorant. That's <laughs> <laughs> Smile at five people. Oh, I like that. Yeah, That's it would make the world a better place. Yeah. Tell me about the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club organization to help kids reach their, reach their full potential mm -hmm. in life. And we do that through uh, lots of programming. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide mentors for them. Mm -hmm. And we provide them with experiences uh, that, uh, you know, they need, you know, for life. Mm -hmm. We've expanded our mission to uh, give kids training so that they have a, a usable skill mm. uh, they can use for life even after graduation. That's great. We get you through high school graduation and we're going to provide you with a skill that makes you workforce ready, yeah. you know, house ready, That's cool. you know, job ready, whatever. Yeah. So you can go out and you can start supporting yourself right away. So why is it important to have sponsors? Sponsors drive what we do. Mm. Boys and Girls Club is a nonprofit. All of the money, all of the time that we get from organizations like yours. I mean, you guys have sponsored this golf tournament for the past nine years. Mm -hmm. So you guys understand the importance of, you know, of giving to organizations like the Boys and Girls Club because you understand that children are the future. To learn more about the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Danville area, including donation or volunteer opportunities, or to even make recommendations on programs, visit BGC danville.org